Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks. And after a couple of emails with somebody, this is exactly what they're wanting to do. And he did send me a file and he was having trouble. He uh, used the fisheye effect on these, but he was having trouble to color in every one of these other squares. And so I showed him a little bit of a trick. So I'm just gonna completely start from scratch in what he did. This is all one object. We're gonna hold down the shift key and double click on our rectangle. And that made a rectangle around our work. Now it's selected, I'm gonna make it 101%. Then I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill it in with that blue that he wanted. I'm gonna move that out of the way because I don't want the wireframe or the hairline, and this is all grouped together now, so I can hit P. Then he drew four balls. Uh, pretty ingenious, pretty cool look. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down the shift key and make them a little bit smaller. I'm gonna move. Whoop. Control. I want to make sure I don't have a copy of that. I don't need that anymore. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I did have already a copy, so. I'm, Glad I checked. So now I can just move one of the copies over here. And I'm making them a little bit too big for what he wanted, I think. So we'll we'll delete that copy and put the copy there. So select it all, hit the, hit the plus key on the keyboard. Then I'm gonna control D and see how it moved it over. Now if we hit control D again, it's gonna move it down. So that's why a lot of times I will hit the plus key and it just keeps it where it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit T to kind of put them spaced out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit L for left, to kind of line them up a little bit. Doesn't really matter for this project. But he was going off this little example I made the other day and he was trying to fish eye effect. You can do numerous fish eyes. So we're gonna click on our lips and we're gonna go to effects lens and pick fish eye, but then you have to go and go frozen and then pick this one, lens, fish eye, frozen, lens, fish eye, frozen. If you don't freeze it, it won't, it won't uh, still stay there. It'll go away, frozen. Now, what he wanted to do and it's pretty ingenious. He moved this out of the way. I'm going to take away. Matter of fact, I'm going to make my outline blue too. And maybe make it a little bit thicker. Kind of match up. Well, what he did, he, he used the, uh, and I remember I nudged and not moved. I'm going to use the twirl tool. Make it a little bit bigger. Make it like 25 inches. I've got my ratio or my st stroke rate real low. And I'm just going to give a little bit of a twist. So here's what his question was. He had gotten this far, but he needed to fill in these. He was using the Smart Fill tool to painstakingly fill these in, whoop, fill these in. So there's a little trick of that. So instead of going one, two, three, and getting all these little bitty niches, Let's just do this. Let's take this and move it out of the way. <clears throat> we need to make that shape. Well, there's really no way to make that shape except for use this and use the Smart Fill tool and then move that over. And now we have this shape and I'm just gonna fill it in with the same color and move it over. Then I'm gonna go to Object, Order, Back a Page and look at that. We filled in all those at one time. So now I can get rid of all this and now I can just scoot this over and look at that. Now, one more to warning if he's gonna print this, these balls are actually white. Uh, that's how the lens effects work. So we go here and pick yellow object order back a page. There's white in that ball. Now you can get rid of that. Now if he's printing them and he wants them white, then that's all he needs. But that saves you a lot of time when you're smart filling to make that shape. That's a pretty cool, I don't know what it's for. I don't know if he was, and he also, I spun my other one. So you, these are individual pieces. So you could still 
spin them and get them off a little bit instead of looking, you know, uh, where the lines are going perpendicular, you can change them a little bit. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.